got 12 different houses, 12 houses up there, and they're all exactly the same. Exactly the same. All 12. So nothing moved. They didn't move the bathrooms from one side to the other or anything of that sort. You got the same house on every one of the plants. All they did, like I said, was move pictures around within that bathroom. So not a big deal on any of them. Your building from this edge here to the center of that wall is eight foot four and a half inches. Just like your plans are in your book. From the outside over here on the right to the center of that wall is 13 foot seven and a half inches, just like the plans here in the book. Right? It's the same as what you have here in the book. Okay? All the houses are that way. Every one of them is the same. So the plans that are in your book would plumb one of these houses down here. If you can take that plan, go plumb the house. It fit. If you notice there are four fixtures, three in the bathroom and a kitchen sink on each of those two plans. A few years ago, we got really, really busy, kind of like they are right now, except that we were being pushed a little harder than what they are right now. And we were a little more diligent about what we were doing, and we were fully staffed with three uh, examiners out there. So uh, we all had worked together 10 or 15 years and knew where everybody was every time everybody anything moved. So we were a little more efficient than what they are today because we had worked together long enough. But we were still getting behind and we weren't keeping up. And we were starting to push out there to that three months out. And they said, you need to do something. We gotta get more people in here. Then get us some help. We're doing all we can do. So no, we're not gonna do that. And they said, right, get us some overtime. We'll stay late. No, 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 we ain't going to do that. We don't have that in the budget. We can't do that. And they said, the only other thing we can do is shorten the test. They said, no, now that might work. They shorten the test. So what we used to do in the shop is you used to thread the entire nipple, cut it the right length, and thread both ends of it. Well, now you just thread one end, cut it off, and go. You don't even worry about it. You write down the measurements, you don't even cut that. You know, some little things like that that we, we shortened in the shop. And got a little bit of time back there, got another 10, 15 minutes shorter back there. And then they came to the house and said, blank out two of those fixtures. You're just going to rough in six fixtures instead of eight. Okay. So we went to the plans and blanked out two fixtures. So when you get a set of plans down there, you'll have two of the pictures blanked out on it. Now, it might be both lavatories. It might be both kitchen sinks if you're on trades. So you may not have kitchen sinks. You may not have lavatories. You'll have one or the other. You will have two floor mount water closets. You will have two tubs on trades. If you're taking the journeyman, well, they made that a little more commercial. So same building, but they put in wall hung water closet, no big deal. And then they put in showers, which again is no big deal. If you grub in a tub, you grub in the shower. So they did that and uh, they put in a urinal and the only difference there is the location of where they do it, where you rough it in. So uh, they, they put in those things on the journeyman and then we went back and blanked out two fixtures there. So, journeyman, you will have one wall hung and one floor mount water closet. You will have those two, no doubt. You may or may not have a shower. You may or may not have a urinal. You may or may not have a lavatory. You may or may not have kitchen sinks. I don't know what else they blanked out. In one of the drawings, uh, you don't have a shower, but you have two floor mount water closets. So, you know, a, but you will have at least one floor mount, one, one wall on. Other than that, they blanked out some fixtures. So you just plumb whatever's there. 
Don't worry about blanks, just blow them what's there. That, that's on any one of the plans, anywhere you go. But if you blanked out one kitchen sink, we blanked out both. So you'll either have two kitchen sinks or none on anybody's job. Two or none. So anyway, with that, this is what you're going to get down the plumbing board. They're going to give you a board that's got two sets of plans on it. One of them is first floor, one of them is second. And in case you don't know that, the second floor goes on top of the first. <laughs> you, 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 you wouldn't believe how many people we tried to have plumb the house with the first floor here and the second floor there. Just like the plans show, it's right there. One goes on top of you. So anyway, they, they'll give you a set of plans, a board like this with the plans on it. And again, you've got a couple of wide walls with the narrow wall across the back of that bathroom. A couple of wide walls here with a narrow wall across the back of that bathroom. Okay. Uh, then inside that, and, and somewhere on the plans, if you look at your plans, it'll be on the right. Uh, somewhere on those plans, there will be a sewer line. Okay. Now it might be over here on this side, or it might be over here on this side. I don't know. Plans are different. They moved the sewer line. But we're going to put it right over here because that's where your plans show it. Sewer line. The fixtures inside, I'm just going to throw fixtures in it. I, I, we just put them in there. Tub, toilet, lab. Turn the tub around the other way. Put the lab the toilet one right over the other. And we're worried about kitchen sinks later. They'll be out here under the window if you have kitchen sinks. We'll worry about them later. Okay. So there, there's the plan. That's the similar to what they're going to have down there. May not match your plans in your book, but it doesn't matter. So they're, they're similar to what you got there. <laughs> what they're going to tell you, they're going to give you these, and they're going to tell you. There's some scratch paper here. There's a paper that I want your uh, material list on. We want you to make a material list right here on that piece of paper and use the scratch paper any way you want to. But we want you to stub out one time only on the sewer line side of the building. One time only on the sewer line side. Order the material you need and use what you order. Leftover material will cost you. But you've got three more trips to go back to the supply house. No penalty at all. Get all the material you need. Three more trips back. Now you make your material list. Guys, let, let me kind of explain what, what just went on here. They gave you some instructions. You better follow but some things count a lot, some things don't count much. They said order the material you need and use what you order. If you've got leftover material, it's going to cost you. Guys, you could have a thousand foot of pipe and 500 foot in fittings left over and it cost you one point. Total. One point. You make a 99 to a 100. That ain't no big deal. No. Nothing to, I don't care how much material I got now. No big deal. Well, I got three trips to go back to the supply house anyway, so I order what I know I need, and then I got three trips to go back. Well, what if I happen to forget something? I need to go back the fourth time. Well, that's going to cost you one point. Go back 50 more times, it's still that same one point. You make a 99 instead of 100. That's nothing. Well, you told me to stub out on the sewer line one time on the sewer line side of the building. <coughs> well, I'd rather stub out down here and down here on the end of those walls. That's good installation, and then I'll go one time toward the sewer line. Oh, really? Well, two stub outs. We told you one. 
that's about a 12 point hit. Yeah. Ooh, what happened to that one point? That, that's gone. It's 12 points now because you stubbed out where we told you not to. And since you stubbed out twice, that's a 12 point hit. And besides, besides that, stubbed out on the wrong side. You should have stubbed out on that side. So stubbing out on the wrong side is another 12 point hit. <laughs> so now you done missed 24 points and you can't miss the 30. See? And you made a good installation that meets code. Everything's great. It meets code. No problem. But you didn't follow the instructions, so you, you're about to fail the test. You, you don't know how much each one of these things is going to cost and what they're not. So be careful with what you're doing. When they give you instructions, follow the instructions. Make sure. And if you doubt, ask them. Ask them about it. Because you can make a good installation. They tell you you had three vent penetrations through the roof, three vents through the roof. You say, no, I'm going to put four. Okay, that's 15 points off you. There's nothing wrong with four vents through a roof. No, it's not, except that we told you three. You didn't follow the instructions. So you could have failed the test over that. And you could have had a good meet the code, exactly meet the code installation <coughs> and fail that test because you stubbed out twice on the wrong side and put four vents through the roof. Nothing in there violated the code, but you violated their instructions. So, like I said, be careful how you how you go through this thing. I'm going to show you a good method to do it if you'll follow the instructions of what I'm telling you. Okay? This is what is going to going to really make this thing interesting and fun if you'll follow it. If you can pick up on what I'm doing right here. If I look at this right here. I want to stub out one time on the sewer line side. So if I come down the middle of the house from the sewer line, right down the middle of that house with my main building drain, I lay a combo on the side and turn right down through that wall and right down under that wall. All of that four inch pipe. All of that four inch pipe. I don't care what fixtures it is. It doesn't matter. All of it four inch pipe. They don't have any three inch. You order two inch for everything except the toilets and four inch for the toilets. That's what you rough them on. But everything under that building make it four inch. Keep it simple. Now once you got everything under the building there, you got to turn up and go up in the wall, right? Okay, so you're going to turn up somewhere in this wall, a four by two combo and turn up in that wall. <coughs> you're going to turn another four by two combo up to come up here to the second floor. Okay, so you, you turn up a separate stack for every fixture. Over here in the other wall, you turn up a four by two combo, another four by two combo, one for the first floor, one to come up here on the second floor. You turn up a four inch combo to come here and catch that water closet. You turn up a second four inch combo to come up here to catch this water closet. So what happened under the floor down here? Everything was either four inch or four by two combos. Simple. Keep it simple. I could have turned over here on a two inch and two inch combos, but that now you complicate it. Now you order something different. Everything on the ground, all that building drain, branches of it, four inch. And then turn up four by two combos or four inch combos to rough any pictures, catch your pictures. Okay? Everybody with me so far? Okay. Here's what makes this thing fun and easy. If I look at that, those plans, like it's a road map, <laughs> which way is north? Top, yeah. north, bottom, south, right, east, left is west. Which way is up? North. Second story. North. 
Well, north is not up because that's north, that's up. They're two different uh, directions, so you can't do that. Which way's up? This way right here. Straight out at you is up, isn't it? And I can't draw that. I don't have anything drawn here. So I can't draw my stacks coming up. I need two different directions, an up and a down, don't I? If you change your north, south, east, and west to this, this being north, south, excuse me, south, east, west, up, and down. All I did is took my north, south, east, west, and rotated them about 30 degrees. Okay? If you're one of those guys that likes to be real particular on what you're doing, you can go get you a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and that should be about 30 degrees. Okay? So that, that's what you're going to be doing, setting that on about 30 degree angle off. And now I can use this change it to this and I'll come out with a schematic over here that shows me everything I have in my building. Let me show you how to do that. My main building drain running through here is running in what direction? East, it's going to be east, east west. west, right? Right. Okay, east west now is here. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to run that main building drain from east west. And then I break off to go to the South. South, with these coming down under the wall, right? So I'm going to now break off over here to the south for those two. And then over here in this wall, I'm going to turn up two stacks that go up to catch my toes. Over here, I'm going to turn up a stack to catch my first floor lab, a stack to catch my second floor lab, a stack over here to catch my uh, toilet, and another stack over here to catch my other toilet. And now I've got everything put into there, all my stacks, all of my building drain. I'm going to come off from here and go back over under here with my trap to catch my tub, come over here and catch the other tub over here, come over here and I go over here and turn up for my toilet and then I go on the second floor since one's right over the other I go over here turn up for my toilet my lab I can arm down and stub out I can arm back over from here and stub out there <laughs> got the whole thing right there in front of me Everybody see where I did there? I just rotated everything 30 degrees, and that gave me an up and a down, north, south, east, and west, with an up and a down. This is not going to drain uphill. It's going to drain to the north, downhill to the north. Okay. Now, you get the question, what are you going to do out here on the ends? I'm going to put a clean out out here on the end, and a clean out out here on this end, and a clean out on the end of that, and a double clean out where it goes out of the building over here. Now I've got all the ends covered. And what are you going to do on the material list? Guys, trust me on this one. Order 70 foot of 4 inch and 70 foot of 2 inch height. 70 foot of 4, 70 foot of 2. You'll have plenty to do your job. You won't have a whole lot left over. And if you do need a little more, you certainly got another trip out of order. Okay? So you order your pipe, 70 <coughs> foot each. Then, what is this fitting right here? Combo. Four inch 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 combo. One, two, three, four. Four inch combo. And then what is this fitting here? Four, four, by, two. Two. four, four by two combo. Four by two combo. Four by two combo and a four by two combo. One, two, three, four. 
four by two combo. See how hard that's bit is to make material list now? And because we put everything four inch under the bottom down there for the building drain, now everything's either four inch or four by two combos turning up. I didn't confuse everything. Then when I get above the floor, what is this here? That's a sanitary teeth. Sanitary teeth, four inch. You catch that toilet. Four inch over here. Two four inch sanities. What do I got here? Two inch sanitary teeth. Two inch sanity. Two inch sanity. Two inch sanity. Two inch sanity. One, two, three, four. Probably throw a couple of extras in there. A Santee's, you can always find a place for Santee. So, uh, six of them, four by two, sand, no, two inch, excuse me, two inch Santee. Two inch Santee's. Those are two inch Santee's. A couple of four inch 90's, a couple of two inch 90's. Got a couple of traps over here for tubs. You're done. Three four inch clean outs and a double clean out. That's, it's really that simple. If you keep it simple. If you just keep it simple. Don't try to complicate it. Do you order a double clean out or you just order two extra four inch combos? Order a double clean out. They've got a one piece fitting with two riders in it. No reason for you to try to put them together. So see, you're talking about coming out, I guess you would call it the south wall, where they come all the way through. Is that going to count as a penetration? Because you're not clean out under the building. Oh, okay. Now, okay. they say stub out one time only. Okay. Clean out, put them anywhere you want to. But you stub out on that one side. You drain to that one side. But, you, yeah, you could bring these out from under the building or put them under the building. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make a bit of difference. Code allows a clean out, by the way, under a beer, beer and bean building, which this is. Code will allow a, a clean out under the building as long as it's within 20 foot of an opening. Well, you can get in anywhere you want to under that building. So you got openings all the way around it. You can't get 20 foot from an opening. So you can put a clean out anywhere you want to under that building. You can do the same thing right here under this building. You know, as long as you got 20 foot from over. So that right there, I mean, like I said, you got you got uh, two two uh, two four inch 90s and one two two inch 90s and two two inch trap three clean outs. When you order a clean out, they're just going to give you a cap. Just give you a cap, and you just put a cap on the end of the pipe. That's clean out. Okay? So keep it simple. Keep that simple. What do you need the 90s for the last one? Because you're going to arm down the wall and stub out. You 90 down there on the end of that arm. Come out of the wall. Don't try to come straight up behind, straight out to it. Don't do that. That, that's one, you get a little bit off on all your stuff. And if you got one picture right over the other one, you got to come up, you got to get to both of them. You, you complicate things. You step up on both sides, arm over, catch this one, arm over, catch that one. What about vents? Okay. What about vents? They, uh, guys, what they're going to do, and, and this is what you're going to be doing, is this right here. This, this is the material you're going to be using just like I have plumbed right here. This is two inch, that over there is four inch. There's your two inch and four inch pipe. Okay? That's what you've been plumbing with. You're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> rough in all of your fixtures up to here where the fixtures roughed in and stop. Rough in the first floor one, stop. Rough in the bottom floor, stop. Rough in all your fixtures and stop. Let them know Got them all roughed in. And when you have them all roughed in, they're going to come over and say, is everything complete and sanitary? 
You, you got everything here like you wanted? Everything's complete, sanitary, proper locations? Yeah. You're sure? Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do with your vents? You say, well, I'm going to tie all these vents. I'm going to bring this one up. I'm going to tie this one up. Tie them together four foot above the floor. Go out with one vent. I'm going to bring all the vents over here in this wall up. Tie them together. Go out with one vent. So I'm going to take all of these here up, tie them all together, and go out with one four-inch vent. Tie these two up here four foot above the floor. Go out with a two-inch vent. One vent through the roof, at least one, has to be four inch. If you want to put two, that's fine too. But at least one through the roof has to be four inch. But you put two vents through the roof. You get three. I don't need three. Just need two. Now, if I had kitchen sinks over here, okay, now there's my third vent. There'd be a third vent I could use. But if I've just got the fixtures in those two walls, I don't need the two vents. And they allow you three. But all you're going to do is tell them what you're going to do. Tell them what you're going to do with the vents. Tie them together. Tie these together over here. You're going to tell them what you need to do with your vents. And if they say, okay, that's the way we'll grade it, guys, I'll just about guarantee you pass the test. Well, that part is. Otherwise, they're going to look at it. Got it. I've walked into these houses, something obviously wet vented, one floor above another, right there, no question about it. And you walk in there and you, guy says, I'm finished. You say, okay. Uh, are you satisfied with your plumbing? It's complete and sanitary. Yeah. You didn't wet vent anything on here. No. This, this right here is not wet vented. Nope. Okay, that's what you want to do. That's the way we'll grade it, man. You know, but, you know, I've done told him. I've asked him right there. Look, and he's looking off over here. I'm ready to go to the house. It, if, there, if, there, if something's wrong with that building, guys, and you say, yeah, it's complete and sanitary, and they say, are you sure? It's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's complete. You've looked over it, and you know you better turn around and look again. Better turn around and look again. But you just look at your pictures, make sure there's nothing wet vented. Look at your picture, make sure there's nothing wet vented. Make sure there's nothing down below. It. Okay? And and like I said, that's it's it's really simple. Keep everything separate stacked for every fixture. Then you don't have to worry about it. You know, you hear people all the time talking about, well, put in H fitting and you put, put the one on one stack, one on the other stack with the H fitting and doing all That's fine, but man, I tell you what, I have seen many, 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 many times you've got a stack coming down here, you got a water closet roughed in, and they'll H fitting right off of this and go up and catch another water closet on that second floor up there. And they wet vented it right there, one floor above another. And then when they fail the test, they call back crying, saying, why did I fail that test? Well, you went vented one floor, but I put two stacks. I used an H fitting and put two stacks. Yeah. And you still went vented one floor above another. Or they'll put that upstairs right over here and that other vent going around it mean nothing. You follow from the fixture down. If there's another fixture under it, you went vented. It's easy to make mistakes down there when you're nervous and you're going through there and trying to get all this stuff together. The, the other big problem that I saw so many, so many times down there, you, you'd be over there working with somebody and you'll hear somebody just banging something down and cussing and griping and fussing and, oh man, you're having trouble over there. You walk back and say, what's the problem there? This dang stuff doesn't hold together. It falls apart on me. There ain't nothing holding together on it. I can't keep it together. I can't make it work. Guys, have you seen any of this falling apart today? I mean, you got the wrong fit. It didn't fall apart. That's not put together tight, guys. There's nothing up here that's, that's glued together. It's just stuck together. Where's it going to fall? 
if you do it like I tell you here, there's not much place for it to fall. And the other thing about this, you, you're looking here, you've got a, water, a, a, to a tub here and a tub here. What if this tub were over here on this other side? What if that tub had turned around and been on the other side? Well, we just turned this over here to the other side. It didn't matter where this stack came up. I can rough it in on this side, or I can rough it in over there on that side. It didn't make any difference. As long as I came up in my wall here. If the tub was supposed to be on this side, now I've got a problem. I can't go arm across that room. But I can turn it anywhere in this wall, anywhere I need to. And if I don't worry about coming straight up behind my lavatory, my lavatory is sitting here, I bring the stack up here, arm down the room, turn it out to that lavatory. I don't have to worry about where that lavatory is too close then. My stack could be anywhere in that wall. And you get to it. You can arm anywhere in that wall, guys. It, the wall is not for six feet, and I can go eight foot on a two inch trap arm. So, uh, say you got a, like a, a toilet below and like a toilet above, you take the sanitary tee, and then you take a separate one right next to it, and you go up that one, and then up that one. That's where you sign with the separate yeah. tap. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, you set a combo down here at the bottom, you set another combo right here beside of it. And one's coming up to the top, one's going to stay down there at the bottom. <coughs> this one come all the way up here, rough in right above it. You swing it over. Well, then just check to make sure you get stuff in the right place, not no fall or something like They're not, they well, that, so. now fall, they do tell you to show fall on your main building <laughs> drink. And they give you some little blocks, little two or four blocks with a V cut in it. Some of them have deep V's, some of them have small V's. You just pick your pipe up, stick them under there, set your pipe down in those beads. And it gives you that fall on that pipe. They don't care how much fall. They just want to see that it is falling in the right direction. Now, another thing that you got on the on your uh, house, they want everything in the proper locations. Everything in the proper locations. You've got a ruler here. If you look there at that house, there's two rulers right there in front of it. There's a little wooden ruler, a piece of chalk between it and this little ruler like this. The wooden ruler you use to scale your plants. Quarter inch equals a foot, so for every quarter here, it's a foot on that house. So a half inch is two feet, three quarters is three feet, four, a full inch is four feet. So you measure on your plans, and with this ruler, and then that's your scale, quarter inch equals a foot, and then once you get